There are a lot of questions and concerns, and just about everyone is developing a plan in case the virus hits our community hard. That is why we had WHE 6 on your side reporter, Laura Holm, look into what East Tennessee schools are doing to get ready. Laura joins us now live in the studio with what she has learned about this today. It's truly a work in progress right now because there's still so much we're learning. The school leaders say they're doing everything they can to prepare and get information so they can make responsible and educated decisions. About three weeks ago, the Anderson County School System started developing a plan if COVID-19 hits hard in East Tennessee. They're looking at recommendations from the CDC as well as local and state health departments. It's frightening because we don't know what to expect and especially when it affects anyone's health. It, it is kind of scary. One piece of this plan focusing on the first line of defense hand washing and hygiene. These are pictures from Norris Elementary where kids are learning about germs. When kids aren't in class. We have our new victory sprayers which are a uh, hospital grade disinfectant that's sprayed on all surfaces. It is positively charged so it sticks to the surface even when it's floating in the air. It doesn't dissipate like Lysol would. And we also are doing those big, huge, deep cleanings every single day. The coronavirus response plan touches on how Anderson County Schools will decide to close. And once it reaches 15 percent, we start looking at the district-wide effect as to whether we need to close, whether we need to stay open, and also something that kind of uh, affects that is the uh, the number of staff that's out that day. There are nine days built into the school system's calendar for severe weather or illness. This year, eight days have been used. So if COVID-19 keeps kids out of class more than one day. Either extending the day by a few minutes for the remainder of year is our first line of defense, and then using some of those teacher in-service days as those extra non-instructional days that we would need throughout the year. With spring break a few weeks away. So we are somewhat concerned with the going to regions that may have this and that's something that's in development right now as to making a plan to where if they are going to be uh, traveling to somewhere that the coronavirus is severe we may have some courses of action of that in the future but school leaders have a message for parents our first and foremost thing that we're concerned about is the safety and well-being of our students one really important piece of this plan is communication, everything from how the school notifies parents about what they're doing, but also on conversations parents need to be having with their kids. School leaders say right now it's important kids understand that COVID-19, what that is, the risks, and how they can stay healthy. Guys? All right, Laura, thank you very much. And, and Laura kind of you know alluded to spring mm -hmm. break, and if you're traveling on spring break in the next few weeks, we did check with the CDC on what to do, and they outline avoiding contact with sick people. Do not touch your eyes, your nose, your mouth with unwashed hands. Also, clean your hands by washing them with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, and use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer containing 60 to 95 percent alcohol. Now, if you are flying, the CDC says most viruses and germs do not spread easily on airplanes because of how air circulates and how it's filtered. Health officials adding while the risk of an infection on a plane is pretty low, travelers should still follow the hygiene advice you just heard.